Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, those on YouTube, members of Pattern Realm. Today I want to talk to you. I'm going to change my format to how I've usually been doing the past week or so. We're no longer in the coaches circle. We're doing some motivation here. Don't tell me it's impossible. Last, a couple months ago today, my father passed away. We've been in the process of going through his finances and cleaning out his condo. Last Friday evening, good Friday evening, a group of friends from church descended en masse to bring me a few things that was from his condo. One of the things I wanted was his washer, his dryer, and a recliner. And Friends from church are like, why do you want this recliner? I thought, like, well, you kidding me that I would wear my recliner in there is recliner. You know, my dad sat in that chair. I want it. Oh. And that where he died? I said, no. Oh, it didn't happen that way. I want that recliner. Well, we don't see how you're gonna where you're gonna put it. Don't tell me it's impossible. Okay, so they go in, they get the washer and dryer put in place. You know, they bring in a few things and set a few things up. And then it came time for the recliner. But just leave it on the front porch, Jimmy. And one of the sister, one of the sister missionaries said, Are you kidding? What if it rains and there comes a storm? It's going to ruin the recliner. Jimmy, what are you going to do? Bring it in. But Jimmy, it's impossible. Don't tell me it's impossible. I said, bring it in. They gave the sister missionary a look. That's what I'm gathering. She said, he said, bring it in. I said, okay, let's bring it in. Where do you want it, Jimmy? Against the wall where the bar is. So they placed it there. But Jimmy won't be able to recline in it. I said, I know that. My dad's a little person. I can't recline it very well. I just wanted to sit in, knowing it was my dad's chair. Folks, I don't know how many times I've been told by quote unquote experts. That's why I don't like the word experts. Take the word expert, expert put it in my pocket. Don't tell me it's impossible. They told they told my parents, I doctor said, he's mentally challenged, there's no hope of him having a normal education. Sending him away to a state school. Vision resource teacher came in and said, said to the school board, don't you dare say it's impossible to educate him. I want him mainstream. I was getting ready to go to college. There is no way you're going to be able to make it through college. You, you lack the maturity and the ability to make it. Forget about it. Don't you dare tell me I can't make it through college. I'll fight for my rights. Took me seven years. Back out through college. And all the way, they kept telling me, it's impossible, it's impossible. You're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. Fellow Toastmasters, we can build the club to its glory. But we're going to have to make the impossible possible. It's a concept I learned at the Landmark Forum. Sometimes when things aren't going good, it's called breakdown. Breakdown is where you take all the negatives and turn it around into possibilities. And all those times people were telling me, well, we don't think you can put that recliner in there. Don't tell me it's impossible. I mean, why? But, but, but the numbers say, this expert said over here, don't tell me it's impossible. How many of you hear that? How many of us want to hear that? Think about it. Horton legally blind. 
with multiple birth defects and being challenged by people all my life is saying, you're impossible. No. Mark chapter 10, verse 27 says, with man it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I fought the impossible monster by having a relationship with God. And I began my possibilities by joining Toastmasters. And that was my way of making it through. Impossible? What's impossible? I say to people who, you know, go with the experts and say it's impossible. Where's your trust in God? Where's your faith? You say you live in accordance to what God's called you to live in. But at the same time, it's impossible. Impossible? Out that window. Don't tell me it's impossible. For those of you on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Go build your dreams so you can take it. Until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. Remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jimmy loves you. I really, really, really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day. Good job, Jimmy. Kind of get those.